Hello, I am the Silver Whale Witch. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another flip through book review. The book I have today is The Green Witchcraft 2 Balancing Light and Shadow by Anne Mora. So continuing along with my flip throughs of Anne Mora's books um, recently here. And I will say that this book, um, out of all her books, is definitely my favorite. This is the one that I really enjoyed reading the most, and at the time that I initially read it, um, I got the most out of it as compared to when I initially read her other books. Um, and that's just me personally, but um, I absolutely did love this book. Um, it is published by Llewellyn. And I'll go ahead and give you a close-up of the back in case you want to take a snippet or read that. And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the cover. She has some written stuff here. I'll give you a close-up of that. The Divine Power in Darkness. A little bit about the book. We have an about the author as well. Pretty big section there in case you want to write to the author. And let's see here. The book was copyright in 1999 by Anne Mora. Uh, this is the first edition, 17th printing in 2016. Again, it was published by Llewellyn. Up. And with that, let's see, she's got another list of books here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the contents and see what this book has. I'll give you a close up. That way, I don't need to read through it all for you guys. You can just pause it and take a closer look if you want to see exactly what's inside. And a publisher's note as well, so I'll give you a close-up of that. And with that, I've gone ahead and placed some tabs through some places in the book to just kind of just give you a close-up idea of what she has inside here. So she does have information on circle casting, releasing your fears before working with dark power. I thought that was a nice addition to the book. A lot of people have a misconception of dark power um, when they're just getting started. So she's got some good information in here about that. Uh, she also has, this book is packed with meditations. And she's got a little section here about how meditation works, which is nice. This is definitely uh, more of a beginner's book, I feel, for shadow work and dark power, dark energy. Um, but it is definitely a good one. And then she has your, um, OEM here. Some of the information in her books tends to be a little repetitive throughout her books. Um, I believe that is so that if someone just picks up one of her books, they, um, have the information they need. That would appear the reason. Uh, sometimes though it's, a little redundant so that's just something to be aware of with her books um, but it's all good information and then she includes some herbal correspondences pretty much a must-have for green witchcraft and then some types of meditation so I will say that um, the book sometimes feels like it jumps around a little bit I mean way earlier in the book it was how meditation works and then uh, towards the end of it, she's got a list of types of meditation. Um, though I do remember when I was reading through it the first time, it, it felt like it read very smoothly through. But looking back through it for this flip through, it, it kind of looks like it's all over the place. So I guess just read it and decide for yourself what you think about that. Um, she includes information on tarot meanings. Uh, so different kinds of divination. She usually does include forms of divination in her in her book. So a good amount of basics for tarot. 
um, she does have a section here, sorry about that, of some key terms, which is always good. So again, more of a beginner or first few years of practiced uh, style book here. And she goes through the names of gods and goddesses, who they are, brief descriptions. Um, and then she gives some thoughts on the specific uh, tarot deck that she has listed here in her Appendix C. Which I thought was interesting um, to put in there. And then along with some mail order supplies, I'll give you a close up of that. So your typical back of the book kind of things. Um, this was fascinating. I thought that she um, went ahead and put a section in the back that was black mirrors and oem sticks. Um, the combination, basically how to make them because she references using them throughout the book. And then she's got her uh, selected bibliography and followed by an index, um, short but simple index, but again, I'm glad that they put indexes in books that are used for learning. This is definitely a um, beginner, um, or first, like I said, one or three years of practice style book. And um, it's it's a great book. I really enjoyed reading this book, especially um, for anyone starting out that hasn't really done any shadow work or balancing light and shadow. Um, this book does an excellent job of going through that. So let's go ahead and do a quick flip through for you so you can kind of get a feel for the book, what's inside. And there you have it. That is Green Witchcraft 2, Balancing Light and Shadow by Anne Mora. And I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've, re if you've read this. I'd love to hear it down in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.